In this video, we're gonna be talking about how do I find my target audience on Facebook. So I've been able to help thousands of people find their target audiences and run targeted Facebook ads. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to reach your target audience on Facebook and get in front of as many eyeballs as humanly possible. So I'm gonna share with you a five-step process on how to find your target audience. So let's dive in. Okay, so Facebook's targeting is extremely robust. It's extremely accurate. And there's literally just tens of thousands of data points, right? So how do we figure out exactly who our target audience is without making sure that either the target pool is too big or getting super narrow and actually getting it too small? Well, the first thing that we wanna do is you wanna figure out who is it that you're trying to reach. I know this one sounds a little bit basic, but it's really, really important and most people skip it, right? So who are you trying to reach? Now, if you're a church, you might be trying to reach young families or empty nesters, right? You might be specifically trying to reach young families in their 30s who have elementary school age kids and invite them out to church. If you're a local business or an e-com store, you might be looking for parents or pet owners or people that own chihuahuas, right? So ask yourself first, who is it that we're trying to reach? Identify what are the problems that are keeping them up at night. So this is one of the most powerful questions that you can ask when you're trying to find your target audience on Facebook. All right, so what's keeping them up at night? Now, if you have a marriage conference that's coming up that you're talking about, then put yourself in the shoes of that married couple and ask yourself, what is it that's keeping them up at night, right? So maybe you have a 35-year-old mom who's got three boys and her husband has been traveling a lot, right? Like with COVID, things have been a little bit crazy. Maybe he's a salesman and he's had to travel a lot now that COVID hit because they're understaffed. And so he's away from home a lot, right? So what are the things that are keeping her up at night? Maybe she's wondering about some of the distance between her and her husband. Maybe she's wondering about her kids, right? If she's a stay-at-home mom, she might be wondering, man, am I doing this right? Like, am I screwing up my kids? Am I parenting them right? Right? Like maybe one parenting book says one thing and another parenting book says another, right? So what are the things that are keeping her up at night. Maybe she can't remember the last time she had a date night with her husband, or maybe she's worried whether or not her husband still finds her attractive, right? So you wanna put yourself inside the mind of your potential audience and ask yourself what specific questions are keeping them up at night. All right, so as you're going through this exercise, this is really important on being able to find your target audience because we need to get laser specific on who it is we're trying to reach and what's keeping them up at night. That way we can identify those pain points as we're writing our ad copy and setting up our targeting. All right, number two, what are you trying to promote? Now, my specialty is how to help churches get new Sunday morning visitors. So you might be promoting a sermon series or your live stream, or maybe a church event that you have coming up or an outreach, or maybe you're just trying to convince people to come to church this Sunday, right? But get laser specific on exactly what it is you're trying to promote. So if you're a pet food company, you might be trying to specifically promote a new coupon that you have to, in order to get people who normally feed their dogs Purina dog chow and try to get them to come try your dog food. Or you might be promoting your Mexican restaurant and specifically trying to get people to come in on Monday night for a free chips and queso. So after you figure out who exactly you're trying to reach and what's keeping them up at night, then you wanna figure out exactly what is the promotion that you're trying to put in front of them. All right, number three, what's the call to action? So you can only have one call to action. And as you're getting in front of your target audience, if you're a church, this might be show up on Sunday. It might be sign up for plan your visit. It might be to reserve a ticket or to register for an event. If you're a local business, this might be, uh, hey, download the coupon for free chips and queso or fill out this form to get 50% off your first order on our website. The most important thing to remember is that if you say more than one thing, you say nothing at all. So you can only have one call to action. So you need to figure out ahead of time, what is the call to action? All right, so before I get to my last two points, I wanna hear from you, right? What are some different ways that you've used in order to get in front of your target audience? What are some offers that you've used? What are some different ways? Or what are some times you tried using Facebook ads and completely messed it up, right? I wanna hear from you, so post it in the comments below. Okay, number four, you need to identify what problem am I solving for them? So from the example before of a 35 year old wife who has three kids and the thing that's keeping her up at night is the distance between her and her husband, or she's not sure when the last time they had a date night, or if he still finds her attractive, maybe the problem that you're solving is that your new sermon series is gonna give them a three part framework for how to reconnect with your spouse, reset your marriage, and make it feel like you just started dating again. 
If you're a local restaurant, it just might be that, hey, you're hungry and you love chips and queso, so come on out on Monday night and we're gonna give you free chips and queso for every single person that comes through the door. You might talk about the problem they have right now driving the car that they're driving and not feeling like it properly represents who you are as a person and talk about the feeling of when you're driving a brand new car with leather seats just cruising down the highway with the windows down. So get specific on exactly what problem it is that you're solving. Okay, so remember, you wanna remember who it is that they're targeting, what's keeping them up at night, and what problem that you're solving so that we can eliminate their pain points, and then we wanna infuse that into our ad copy so we can get people to take action. All right, and finally, what's the hook? So you wanna take everything that we did in steps one, two, three, and four, and you wanna figure out a hook for your offer. So if you're trying to promote a new sermon series, you might say, hey, have you ever wondered why bad things happen to good people? Well, come out to church this Sunday as Pastor John answers the question you've always wanted to know but never had the guts to ask. We'll see you Sunday at 11 o'clock. Your hook point should be the perfect intersection of who you're trying to reach, the thing that's keeping them up at night, and the problem that you're solving for them. And now we can take everything that we just created and we can write super specific ad copy that's gonna make your target audience feel like you're literally in their head thinking their thoughts. That's how you know that you've nailed it. So once you go through this five-step process, now you're ready to write your ad copy, which is gonna be the single most important part of the ad, and you're armed with all of the pieces of information you need to know in order to connect emotionally with your audience. And the last step is simply to run a Facebook ad specifically to all these people that we figured out through this process. Okay, so if you wanna learn more about Facebook ads and how to use them to reach more people, then go check out my other video, How to Help a Small Church Grow. We'll see you soon.